Hello students, in today's video we are going to study pharmacology of uh, hormonal drugs that are used in the treatment of some specific types of cancers. Now one of the most important risk factors for breast cancer is the increased estrogen. While in prostate cancer main risk factor is the increased testosterone. Now, before studying pharmacology of hormonal drugs for breast cancer, it is essential to understand hypothalamo pituitary ovarian axis. Now, as you can see here, uh, hypothalamus. Now, this hypothalamus is located in the brain and it secretes gonadotropin releasing hormone, in short, GnRH. Now, GnRH is also known as luteinizing hormone, releasing hormone. Now, GnRH stimulates anterior pituitary to release LH. Now, this LH is the luteinizing hormone and LH further stimulates ovaries to produce estradiol. Now, estradiol binds to estrogen receptors located on the breast cell and stimulate proliferation of breast cells. Now, primary source of estrogen is the ovaries. Other sources of estrogen are adrenal glands and the adipose tissue. Now, anterior uh, pituitary also produces adrenocorticotropic hormone that is ACTH. Now, ACH stimulates adrenal gland to release androgens namely androstenedione and testosterone. Now, aromatase is an enzyme that converts androstenedione to estrone and testosterone to estradiol. Now, estrone and estradiol, they bind to estrogen receptors on the breast cell and cause growth and proliferation of the breast. Now, 75% of breast cancers are due to increased estrogen. Now, in breast cancer, overall purpose of uh, hormonal therapy is to prevent the action of estrogen on the breast cells. And this is done in two ways. Uh, either by reducing the secretion of uh, estrogen or by blocking the estrogen receptors. So, the drugs that are used in the breast cancers are of uh, four types. Now, first type of drugs are the uh, gonadotropin agonist, uh, that is the GnRH uh, agonist. Now, these drugs constantly stimulate uh, GnRH receptors uh, that are present on the anterior pituitary. So, when administered, these drugs initially cause excessive secretion of estradiol. But chronic stimulation of uh, uh, gonadotropin uh, releasing hormone receptors causes their desensitization and down regulation. So, this inhibits secretion of LH and this further reduces the secretion of estrogen. So, uh, these drugs are very effective in premenopausal women with the breast cancer. Uh, and the drugs are uh, luprolite, then gozirolin and tryptorelin. Now, another category of drugs are the aromatase inhibitors. Now, as you can see here, stimulation of uh, adrenal gland produces androgens and as already discussed, Aromatase in enzyme converts these androgens into biologically active estrogens and that is estrone and estradiol. Now, aromatase inhibitors like uh, letrozole, then eximastron, then enastrozole. Now, these drugs prevent conversion of uh, these uh, androgens to uh, estrogen. So, this reduces the level of estrogen. And uh, this therapy is uh, very effective in postmenopausal women with non-functional ovaries. Now, uh, next category of uh, hormonal drugs for breast cancer are selective estrogen receptor modulators. Uh, 
So these drugs, they selectively block estrogen receptors in the breast. Thereby, they prevent growth and proliferation of the breast cells. Now, the main advantage of uh, these selective estrogen receptor modulators is this that they do not antagonize effect of estrogen on uterus, bones and heart. So, all the positive effects of estrogen are retained like uh, increased bone density and cardio protection. Now, drugs in this category are tamoxifene, then uh, torimifene. Now, next category of drugs are estrogen receptor down regulators. For example, fulvestrant. Now, fulvestrant is an estrogen receptor antagonist. Now, fulvestrant binds to estrogen receptors. Now, normally after binding to ligand, estrogen receptor monomers dimerize. But fulvestrant prevents dimerization of estrogen receptors and this causes degradation of estrogen receptors or down regulation of estrogen receptors and this stops the effect of uh, estrogen on the breast cells and this prevents proliferation of breast cancer cells. So these are the hormonal drugs and their mechanism of action that are used in the treatment of breast cancer. Uh, now look at this chart. It gives summary of hormonal drugs that are used for breast cancer. Now drugs that reduce effect of uh, estrogen or drugs that reduce secretion of estrogen are associated with uh, adverse effects like uh, hot flushes, uh, then loss of libido, vaginal dryness, osteoporosis and cardiovascular diseases. So first category of drugs as we have already discussed are GnRH agonist. Now as we know we have already discussed their mechanism of action. These drugs reduce secretion of uh, estrogen and uh, uh, there, thereby uh, there is reduced effect of uh, estrogen on the breast, breast cells and reduced uh, effect of estrogen produces adverse effects like uh, hot flushes, loss of libido, vaginal dryness and risk of osteoporosis. Then selective estrogen receptor modulators can also produce adverse effects uh, like uh, hot flushes, menstrual irregularities. Uh, and uh, increase risk of uh, venous thromboembolism. Now very important since uh, selective estrogen receptor modulators do not block estrogen receptors on the bones and heart. They do not cause uh, risk of osteoporosis and cardiovascular diseases. Then uh, fulvestrant and uh, estrogen receptor down regulator also produce similar adverse effects due to reduced uh, action of estrogen like hot flushes, vaginal dryness, osteoporosis. Then aromatase inhibitors like uh, letrozole produces adverse effects like uh, hot flushes, thinning of hair, then uh, joint pain is common and bone loss can be accelerated. So this is in brief on pharmacology of uh, hormonal drugs for breast cancer. Now let's study hormonal therapy for prostate cancer. Now increased testosterone usually causes uh, growth of prostate. So overall purpose of uh, hormonal therapy in prostate cancer is to reduce the effect of testosterone on the prostate. So this is possible in two ways. Either to reduce the secretion of uh, testosterone or to block the androgen receptors. So look at this hypothalamo pituitary testicular axis. Now GnRH stimulates anterior pituitary to cause release of LH. LH stimulates testes to produce testosterone. Now anterior pituitary also produces ACTH that stimulates adrenal glands to produce androgens. So, testosterone released from the testes and from the 
uh, adrenal glands is uh, converted to a more active form that is dihydrotestosterone and this dihydrotestosterone binds to androgen receptors on prostate and stimulate the growth of prostate gland. Now her hormonal therapy reduces the effect of uh, uh, testosterone on the prostate gland and uh, this inhibits or stops the proliferation of uh, prostate cancer. Now mainly four categories of uh, hormonal drugs are used for prostate cancer. Now first category of drugs are the GnRH agonist. Uh, these drugs uh, will initially uh, stimulate GnRH receptors and thereby they increase the secretion of testosterone. But after one to two weeks uh, due to constant stimulation, constant continuous stimulation of uh, GnRH receptors, these drugs cause down regulation and desensitization of uh, GnRH receptors which reduces the secretion of testosterone. The drugs are luprolite, gozirelin. Now next type of drug is uh, Degarelix. It, uh, it is a GnRH antagonist. So it directly blocks GnRH receptors on the pituitary gland. Thereby they reduce the secretion of testosterone. Now another uh, type of drug is the abiraterone. Abiraterone inhibits enzyme cytochrome 17 alpha hydroxylate. So this prevents synthesis of uh, testosterone from steroidal precursors in the adrenal gland. So this reduces secretion of uh, androgens from the adrenal gland. Another category of drugs are the androgen receptors uh, blockers. Uh, so these drugs they block the um, androgen receptors present on the prostate gland. Uh, the drugs are flutamide, bicalutamide, then nilutamide. So overall all these drugs they inhibit the proliferation and the growth of prostate gland. Uh, of the prostate gland in cancer. So now let's see to the adverse effects of each category of these drugs. Now GnRH agonist and uh, GnRH antagonist, uh, they both reduce level of uh, testosterone in the blood and therefore they produce adverse effects like uh, low sexual uh, desire, then erectile dysfunction, shrinkage of uh, testicles and penis, osteoporosis and anemia. Then uh, abiraterone inhibits cytochrome P17 alpha hydroxylase, thereby it uh, uh, reduces the synthesis of androgen. But on the other hand, by inhibiting this enzyme and by reducing the uh, synthesis of androgen, abiraterone increases mineralocorticoid levels. And this results in uh, high blood pressure. Then uh, it also causes fluid retention. And uh, apart from this, uh, it also causes a joint or the muscle pain, hot flushes, diarrhea, etc. Then uh, androgen receptor antagonist, uh, they mainly cause gynecomastia and increased liver transaminases. So this is how hormonal therapy uh, used in the prostate cancer either reduces the level of testosterone or block the androgen receptors and this inhibits proliferation of prostate gland and therefore these drugs are used in prostate uh, cancer. So this is all about hormonal therapy used for cancer treatment. Please note information provided in this video is only for the uh, academic informative purpose. For use of these hormonal drugs or for the treatment of cancer, consult your physician. If you find the video useful, kindly like, subscribe and share this video. Thanks for watching this video.